Trap beat and snare fills in Pro Tools. All right, today we're going to talk about uh, how to do snare rolls and snare fills with Pro Tools instead of doing it with Fruity Loops. If y'all don't know it, you know what I'm saying, that's sad because today and from now on you should learn Pro, Pro Tools instead of uh, messing with them other applications because them other applications are not going to be universal as much as Pro Tools when you get in those big studios and stuff like that. Primarily, uh, the most used application is Pro Tools. Um, you need to learn this stuff. So, if this is Trap Beat 101. Um, how to do a snare roll. When you're doing the snare roll, basically, I'm going to show you this. Alright, this is a snare pattern. Okay? Let me move up a snare pattern that I did. Alright? I have tempo markers at 70 and 140 it's kind of blurry so you got to excuse me so at 70 and 140 all right those tempo markers are going to basically slow up my track so i don't have to go in audio suite and basically use their plugin that most people use to slow down their beats um so I'm going to show you, I, I I basically use Boom Drum Machine, but I didn't like Boom Drum Machine pattern, playlist, alright, patterns. So Boom, to me, patterns suck balls, but I use Boom basically as a, a drum machine sound module, okay? So I wanted to make my own pattern, so I bypassed that pattern. Uh, the, the, the dots highlighting the dots, and I don't like that. All right, so I bypassed it, and then I went into Boom Snare Tune and uh, basically wrote in the automation line right there, as you see before you. And that's the Snare Tune. If you go to Snare Tune, I'm sorry if it's blurry. I'm just shooting this with the cam. So, I went in my snare tune, automated it, okay, into a pattern. Like, I, I, I basically made a snare pattern and then did some descending automation on it. So, when I play it, it, it sounds like a pitch shift snare, okay? So, I'm going to show you how it, how it, how it look, all right? So, when I... Hit it, it goes low. And then it's out. But if you look at the tune, watch the knob. Right here where I got it highlighted. Watch the knob. You see it's turning down. So basically, that's all you do if you want a descending uh, snare in your, your trap beat. Uh with snare roll or whatever. You can also do the same thing with toms, like that extra line that you see over top that's uh, not highlighted was a, a tom, but I had to separate it in its own uh, track. So I can EQ and mix it. So basically that's, that's all I did. And um, people try to make it seem like it's so hard to do, but it's really easy. Uh, so... I mean, if if you, you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, that's Trap Beat 101 for, for the people that don't know how to actually do it in Pro Tools. That's the way that I did it in Pro Tools. I'm pretty sure everybody else do it the same way in Pro Tools. So, like, I like Pro Tools. You know what I'm saying? Pro Tools is my favorite application to basically do everything in. Uh, Fruity Loops is okay for if you, you're you on a basic budget, you know, and you like that MTV music generator. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's me. I, I 
What I had did, I just waited my time until I got up enough money to buy Pro Tools. This is my second Pro Tools. Like, my first Pro Tools was Pro Tools 7. I'm on Pro Tools 9. Um, so, I mean, if you're really into music and you want to do this, you know what I'm saying, yourself some justice, you want to have the right tools to use. And that's Pro Tools. Um, I also use a lot of Waves, too. You know what I'm saying? Waves plugins, too. Uh, so... Like I said, if you're trying to if you you're trying to get them tight snare fills and snare rolls, that's how you basically do it. You gotta excuse me because I'm far back. And like I said, that get your snare tune right there. Snare tune automation line. Descending boom and that's all you basically do so if you like my video excuse my uh finger please rate and subscribe